Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to English Cafe. The topic for the workshop today is 20 common grammatical mistakes we make while speaking in English. So in this workshop today, we will explore these 20 different mistakes, grammatical mistakes that we make while speaking in English. And we will also discuss how to speak correctly in, the, in these uh, situations. So that's what we're going to discuss. Please join us for this live workshop. And if you already joined, please write me a hi or wave at me so that I know that you're here. Let me check. I hope you guys have joined us or you guys are joining us in for the session. Let me repeat the topic. It is 20 common grammar mistakes and we discussed this topic in one of our workshops earlier as well. But that day we discussed some other mistakes. Those were also grammatical mistakes. And but today we are going to talk about 20, a different set of 20 mistakes. And I have taken these examples from uh, the mistakes that our students at English Cafe make. So uh, from there, I've taken these uh, mistakes and I'm going to discuss it with all of you today. Ah, so I think there's some problem with my, uh, with my internet, my computer, but it will be okay. So let us just continue. Um, and before we begin the session, I would request you to share this live session and invite your friends to watch it so that it can help them as well. If you think any of your friends can get benefited by watching this session, so please share it with them. Please invite them to watch this session. And if you have not liked us yet, please like English Cafe. Uh, on Facebook so you can type English cafe or you can go to the URL that's there on the screen and you can like the page so that you can stay updated uh, about the future workshops on different topics and uh, yeah so if you're a student I hope you are enjoying your classes and please let me know if you're a student and you have joined this session please let us know uh, please let me know uh, who your trainer is and uh, how your classes are going on and those of you who have joined us for the first time please let me know where you have joined us from which city uh, are you in right now or which place in the country you have joined us from and if you are not a student at English Cafe yet but if you would like to work on your fluency in English we can definitely help you in that you can join a one month course at English Cafe at the moment and uh, you can get all the details you can go to our website Google us and you will find the details you can Google English Cafe so now without waiting any further let us begin this session but before we begin talking about the different mistakes that we make I would like to say that please participate please engage with me in this session as the purpose of this session is not just to deliver some information but to help you bring those changes to help you correct your english so please participate in the session and at any point if you have any questions you can uh, comment those questions as well i'll try to uh, respond to those questions during the session but if we, if I can't respond during the session I will read the comments later and I will respond to you personally so uh, that way you can ask your questions as well so let us make it an interactive session let us just just not keep it one way where uh, I just keep talking and talking and talking and there's no participation so please participate so let's start now and let me see who all have joined i think my internet's working fine now so let me see if you guys have joined oh 
All right, so great to see you guys on time. It's really encouraging for me that you guys come here on time every day. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so Sam has joined from Meghalaya. Hi, Sam. Welcome to the session. Okay. Azam has joined us from Saudi Arabia. Welcome to the session, Azam. I hope you're enjoying your classes. All right, and I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Uh, I hope I'm audible and uh, I hope you can see the screen. In case there is a problem, please let me know. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up. All right, Sanjeev from Agra. Hi, Sanjeev, welcome to the session. I hope you find this useful. All right. Vail Ahmed has joined us from UAE. So many people joining us from UAE. Welcome to the session, guys. Kasim from New Delhi. Welcome to the session, Kasim. Okay, great. So let us let us begin now, guys. And I have got twenty plus different uh, these common mistakes that we make in English. So let's discuss and uh, and let's we will first talk about what what the mistake is and then we will talk about how to speak it correctly so the first expression that uh, uh, people speak incorrectly most of many times is many a uh, times so do you see this many a uh, times like i tried to improve my english many a uh, times but many a uh, times is incorrect many a times is not a correct expression and let me tell you that i have been using it incorrectly until recently when one of my friends told me he said mamta it's not many a times it is either many a time or it is many times and that's when i learned it so i want to share it with you today so you will not say many a times you will either say many time many times you will either say many times or you will say many a time only many a time that's all you will say for example many a time i tried to improve my english so just many a time we don't need to say many a times i hope you understood it so many a time or uh, uh, many a time i think i should move abroad so you can either say many times i think i should move abroad or many a time so that's an expression you can say many a time also many a time i think i should move abroad people make this mistake many a time people make this mistake many a time so i hope you understood that can you make a sentence using the expression many a time so please remember you will either use many a time or you will say many times but not this not many a times i hope you understood that please uh, try to use it in sentences make sentences using the expression many a time many a time please try to do that let me see if i've got any comments sadna and virendra have joined us from delhi hi guys welcome to the session so i'm waiting for your comments on many a time please let me know if you can use it in a sentence i'm moving on to the next common mistake that we make and that the students make they say mango is called as the king of fruits or mahatma gandhi is called as the father of nation what's incorrect here guys is the use of called as called as is not the correct expression so we should not say called as we should just say called so we can say mango is called the king of fruits not called as many students say called as so please don't say that just say mango is called the king of fruits or say for example mahatma gandhi was called the father of the nation do you get that jaipur is called the pink city so not jaipur is called as you don't need to say called as called as is incorrect you just need to say called so you will say jaipur is called 
the pink city that's it i hope you've understood that do you make this mistake please let me know if you do and if you do don't make this mistake going further just use the expression called okay for example what is it called in hindi or what is it called in english it is called xyz in english not it is called as so we just we'll just say it is called xyz in english that's it all right so i hope i'm clear there i hope you have understood that all right and i have received a few examples i have seen your videos many times yes that's correct swatantra and and you can also say i have seen your videos many a time you can also say that many a time i try to improve my writing all right that's correct onions are called as the queen of vegetables yes so any that's not the mistake that's the mistake we don't need to say onions are called as we need to remove that as that's not required so we just we'll just say onions are called the queen of vegetables is that true i don't know though so onions are called the queen of vegetables not called as any other examples good evening sanjay thank you for joining um any other examples that you guys can give me for called just use called do not use called as because called as is incorrect so mango is called the king of fruits is enough not called as i hope you understood that now it's your turn to make sentences using the expression what something is called use it in a sentence please comment it here let me know that you've understood it so that i can move further because it's important for me to understand that you get it if if you don't understand it then it, uh, conducting this session won't be fruitful for the both of, both of us right so please let me know that you've understood it please comment uh, a couple of sentences and um okay many times i try to speak english fluently neeraj says that yes neeraj that's correct and neeraj can you also give an example on uh using the word called please also use the word called in a sentence uh, like like i said mango is called the king of fruits or mahatma gandhi was called the father of the nation or jaipur is called the pink city don't use as there now guys i'm uh, moving on to the next uh, mistake that we make people say i graduated from college 5 years before so i graduated from college 5 years before what's wrong here is the use of the word before before is not correct when you are referring to a past time you can either use ago or back these are the two words you can use ago is a more formal back is an informal word but you can use both of them so you can either say i graduated from college 5 years ago or you can say i graduated from college 5 years back yeah or i moved to noida 10 years ago i moved to noida 10 years back use ago or back we can't use before to refer to something that we did in past we can either use years 5 years back 2 months back 5 years ago 2 months ago so can you use that 5 years ago 2 months ago like for example the lockdown was announced 2 months ago i think yeah more than 2 months ago but we will not say the lockdown was announced 2 months before 2 months before will be incorrect so 2 months ago is what we can use or 2 months back okay so i hope you've understood that um all right 5 years ago ravi shankar you will say 5 years ago because 5 is a plural number so we'll say 5 years ago very good neetu says amitabh bachchan is called god of bollywood is that a fact yes the sentence is correct lion is called king of jungle that's correct priya yes so you guys have got it so I hope this is clear to you. I graduated from college 5 years ago or 5 years back but not before. Before is incorrect. If you have understood that, if that is clear, can you write that it's clear? Please tell me that it's clear to you. And now I'm moving on to the next mistake. <clears throat> 
that we do we say and that's a mistake i always do this mistake what's incorrect here is the use of the word do because we don't do mistakes we make mistakes what do we do we make mistakes we don't do them we make them make a mistake so the correct expression is i always make this mistake so many of our students always make this mistake of saying do a mistake they say i did i did a mistake so we don't say i did a mistake we say i made a mistake or people say don't do this mistake again we don't do mistakes we make mistakes so we will say don't make this mistake again you always make this mistake how many times will you make this mistake i will never make this mistake again so that's what you will say guys you will always use the word make and you will use different forms like make a mistake makes a mistake made a mistake is making a mistake you know what you are making a mistake so you are making a mistake that's what is correct so i hope you will remember it and you will not use the word do with mistakes now onwards do you get that can you use the word make a mistake or make mistakes or made mistakes in a sentence please make sentences and i would again like to say please participate guys please comment uh, please comment uh, the sentences so that you can learn you can work on your thought process and as i always say if this session is not for me this session is for you to be able to improve your skills so please participate and if you make a mistake i will always share feedback and if you get the feedback you will get better so please participate and engage let me see if if i have received any sentences with make a mistake all right i made a mistake by not attending the class yesterday yes trisha that's a correct sentence um gautam says ma'am which one is right take exercise or do exercise let me respond to that and uh, i think everyone should listen to this carefully so guys we don't take or we don't do exercise we can just exercise for example i exercise every day because exercise is a verb i hope you got that gautam gotham asked it right yeah so gotham you can just exercise you can just say i exercise every day if you are talking about physical exercise so please use i exercise every day or we should exercise every day or how often do you exercise so that's all you need to say do not say take or do that's not required so make a mistake is what is correct Arisha yes you can say i do exercise also i think but you don't need to basically do is not even required i exercise every day is enough i exercise every day is a complete sentence on its own because exercise is a noun as well as a verb so you can use it uh, we generally make mistakes yes that's correct swatantra we generally make mistakes we mis make mistakes all the time so i hope you've understood that and i'm moving on i hope that's clear Let's move on to this now. This is a mistake again. You have done a blunder mistake. I'm sure the first one you've already recognized. We don't do mistakes, we make mistakes. You have made Now if even if we say you have made a blunder mistake, now what we are doing is we are using two different words which actually mean the same thing and blunder blunder means a huge mistake. blunder means something that's really you know unforgivable kind of a mistake so blunder is synonymous with mistake so we will not use two same words to talk about the same thing so we will, we don't say blunder mistake whereas i have heard my students or people at work using the expression blunder mistake so many times so let me tell you that blunder mistake is not correct so we don't say blunder mistake we can just say blunder that's it because blunder is bigger than a normal mistake so just use blunder i have made a blunder in this sentence you would say you have made a mistake i always make a mistake i always make this mistake 
and if somebody has done a really huge mistake you will say you have made a blunder or this is a blunder you don't need to say this is a blunder mistake okay saying blunder mistake is a blunder so you will just say blunder right this is a blunder i can't let it go this is a blunder i'll never forgive you for this so that's what you can say so please remember that you just need to use blunder you don't need to say blunder mistake and you don't do a blunder you make a blunder like you make a mistake so is that clear i hope i have made that clear for you yeah vijay says blunder itself is a mistake that's correct vijay blunder is a mistake and that it's like a huge mistake so blunder is sufficient to use in a sentence so i hope you have we have clarity on that yeah any uses blunder is bigger yes blunder is bigger than a mistake now let's move on this is also a very common mistake so students say i don't think so i don't think so we will reach on time or uh, i don't think so this is correct so i don't think so this is correct what is incorrect here is the use of the word so we just using redundant words like we did in blunder mistake similarly here you don't need the word so so you don't need to say i don't think so it is correct you can just say i don't think it is correct that's it i don't think it is correct i don't think we will reach on time i don't think you understood it so is not required did you get it so people often say i don't think so you can do it but that's not correct guys you will just say i don't think you can do it or uh, i don't think we will get a vaccine very soon for coronavirus but not i don't think so can you make a sentence using i don't think and you know when you will use i don't think so when somebody says asks for your opinion maybe do you think uh, you know do you think coronavirus will die when it is hot then you can say i don't think so or you can say yeah, i think so that's when you will use i don't think so or i think so when somebody is asking for your opinion there but if you are speaking a sentence like this where you are expressing what you think so you will, you will use i don't think and then what you think no so is required okay i don't think he will come right or i don't think i can finish this today so don't use a so just let the so go and make the sentence so i hope we have clarity there i hope you have understood that and we are moving on let me see if i've got uh... oh jyoti says not learning english in my school days was a blunder that's a beautiful sentence jyoti good work can we say i don't think so only abhijit says abhijit yes you can say that when you are actually expressing when somebody asks you for an opinion like we said like do you think corona will go away if it is hot then you say i don't think so your response can be i don't think so but then you are not saying anything else after that right you're just ending your sentence at i don't think so that's it but if you are expressing something in a sentence where you think something you don't think something then so is not required like you don't need to say i don't think so corona will die when it is hot that is incorrect you will just say i don't think corona will die when it is hot that's it so that's where you don't need a so so i hope i have made that clear to you i don't think learning new languages is that easy really navin that's what you think the sentence is correct though yes and he says i don't think shreyan shreyan llb in class for one hour i don't know what you're talking about any okay uh, but i don't think is correct in the sentence you've not used it so so guys let's move on i hope I, we have clarity on this now moving on to the next one yeah this is so commonly made mistake students say today evening we are watching a movie today evening we are watching a movie what's wrong here is the use of the word today because normally the native speakers or people who use english as a language of communication would not say today evening they would just say this evening that's it today evening today afternoon today morning is not required we can just say this morning this afternoon this evening 
that's sufficient so you will just say this evening we are watching a movie or you can ask someone what are you doing this evening you will not say what are you doing today evening today evening is not appropriate so we say this evening to talk about today evening or this morning or this afternoon that's how you speak so this evening we are watching a movie or this morning i had idli for breakfast so we'll say this morning not today morning or what did you have for breakfast this morning that's it this morning is enough can you make a sentence using this morning or this afternoon or this evening in a sentence guys please write down sentences comment them here i'll read out if you write those sentences okay jyoti says i don't think it will be easy to go to life like before that's correct jyoti that's a wonderful sentence i think it should be evening that's what what do you mean akash so the point here is akash we don't need to use i think so we can just say i think for example i think it will rain in the evening i think it's evening i think it's raining that's it no so is required you don't need to use the word so risha says this morning i ate pakoda wow that's great uh this morning i did not do breakfast okay hitesh uh, let me tell you that we don't do breakfast and it's for everyone it's for all of you watching this we don't say do breakfast we don't do breakfast yeah in hindi we speak that way like breakfast karna ya breakfast kiya whereas in english we don't say do breakfast we say have breakfast so you will say this morning i did not have breakfast this is for all of you guys you will use have with breakfast so you will say this morning i did not have breakfast or what did you have for breakfast this morning or i'm having my lunch i'm having my breakfast so when you are eating something please use the word have have is used for consuming we don't do breakfast or do lunch or do dinner we have breakfast have lunch have dinner have tea have coffee have meals have a pizza that's how we use it okay so oh so i went for a walk this morning that's great guys yes next evening i will enjoy watching movies nabin why would we say let's not say, i don't think people say next evening people will say tomorrow you can check though but in my opinion people don't say next evening people would usually say tomorrow evening we are watching a movie that's what you can say So I hope you've got that guys don't say today morning today afternoon today evening say this morning this afternoon this evening and the other one to eat something we don't do breakfast we have breakfast we have lunch we have dinner to talk about past you will use the word had like had breakfast had lunch had dinner so I hope I'm clear there and now I'm moving on Next one yeah it's also very common it's depend For example will you will you join the class and then you say it's depend on my schedule so it's depend on my schedule is not correct guys the correct expression is it depends so if i ask you will you join the class so you can say well let me see it depends on my schedule it depends on my schedule not it depend it depend is not correct it depends on my schedule okay how soon the corona virus disappears it depends on the measures we take not it's depend okay so please don't say it's depend say it depends it depends on the strict measures we take how soon can we no how soon can we open everything it depends on how soon we can get rid of corona virus so do you get that do not say it depend it depend is incorrect please say it depends so i would like you to write a sentence using it depends okay please write a sentence comment here i will check if i get any comments now i'm uh, moving on to the next one it depends only it depends can you write a sentence using it depends guys please make full sentence 
Yes, tomorrow we'll watch movie in the morning. That's correct. You will use tomorrow for the next day. Now, let's talk about this, guys. Indian people drink a lot of tea. And that's true, right? But what's incorrect here is the use of expression Indian people. We don't need to say Indian people because we can just say Indians. That's it. We don't need to say British people, just British. American people, Americans. That's it. So we will not say Indian people drink a lot of tea. We'll just say Indians drink a lot of tea. That's it. We don't need to say Indian people. Okay, or like rich, uh, no rich people. Yeah, rich people we can say. Um, or uh, for example, um, For example, Korean people are very hard working. It's not correct. We can just say Koreans are very hard working. That's it. Do you know that Koreans are really hard working? Do you think Indians are hard working? So, Indians, that's it. You will not say, do you think Indian people are hard working? Indian people is not required. The word of the use of the word people is redundant. We unnecessarily sometimes use these words. So we should try to eliminate the use of these redundant words from when we are speaking because our goal is to make our speaking effective and to make it correct at the same time. Though we know that none of us is perfect, like none of us is perfect. We all make mistakes, but we should always strive to get better and to, you know, to keep getting better. That is what our goal should be from wherever we are right now. So from now onwards, when you speak, you will not say Indian people or British people or American people. You will just say Indians or British or American or Koreans. That's what you will say to talk about the citizens of that country. So I hope you understood that. What would you like to tell me about Americans? Can you tell me something about Americans? Please comment if you want to tell me something about Americans. Use the word Americans, not American people. Okay? Or tell me something about Indians, not Indian people. Please comment something about Indians. Oh, Indians are very honest. Sanjay says that. All right, Sanjay. Sure. Chinese eat a lot of meat. Okay, that's true. Indians have worked very hard. Okay, Sanjeev. And for all of us, yes, this is again a common mistake. We don't do hard work. So you will not say you need to do hard work. Do hard work is not required because work can be used as a verb. And we can say you need to work hard. Can you repeat after me and say this? You need to work hard, especially Sanjeev. You need to say you need to work hard. I work very hard. Indians work very hard. Americans work very hard. So just work hard is enough. We don't need to say do work hard. I hope you understood that and please correct this. Now guys, moving on to the next expression that we have. It is most of people use Facebook on their cell phone. There's a minor mistake here, not really huge, but the word off is not required. Just say most people, like most Indians. Like most Indians pray to God. That's it. We don't need to say most of Indians. Okay. So you can say most people use Facebook on their cell phone. Or uh, uh, most Chinese eat meat. That's enough. You don't need to use the word of here in this sentence. So I hope that's clear. And since it's minor, I hope you've understood it. I'm moving on to the next sentence. Yes. Now let's take a look at this sentence and this is such a common mistake but it's a, it's a huge mistake actually, it's a blunder. People say, how I can download this application? How I can download this application? And this person is actually asking a question. It's a question, we have put a question mark there but, but the way the sentence is constructed, it looks like a statement. Like, uh, you can download an application, I can download an application. That's not how we ask questions, guys. When we are asking a question, the question word comes before I, you, he, she, etc. Right? So, we will not say how I can download this application. So, I hope you've understood it. The correct is, how can I download the application? 
how can I download the application? So what happens is many of my students, they still make this mistake when they are asking me questions. They use, they ask it like a statement like this. They say how, so ma'am, how I can download the application? That's why I have listed it here. You will not say how I can download the application. You will say how can I download the application? Do you get that? Similarly, where I will find it? Where I will find it? Now you see again, it's not the correct structure of the sentence. You should say, where will I find it? Where will I find it? Right? How will I get it? Correct? So that's what you need to take care of. The takeaway from this sentence is that the helping verbs and the question words come before the subject. I, we, you, he, she, my father, etc. The question word and the helping verbs, they come before the subject when we are asking a question. So do not make this mistake, guys. Ask a question like a question, right? Don't say, so what you will do after the lockdown is over? You should say, so what will you do after the lockdown is over? Or don't ask, so where you bought this computer? Where you bought this computer from? is not correct say where did you buy this computer from right where did you buy this computer from correct so please take care of that and ask a question like a question do not make it statement so be conscious about it going further so that whenever you make this mistake you can correct yourself and then gradually you will not make the mistake let's move on guys this again is such a common mistake so many of us say, I'm working as a software engineer. So for example, somebody asks me, what do you do? And I say, I'm working as a software engineer. So let me tell you guys, when we are telling somebody about our profession, we don't need to use this continuous tense. We use simple tense. We use a simple sentence. So if somebody asks you, so what do you do? You can say, you can either say, I'm a software engineer, or you can say, I work as a software engineer. That's it. You don't need to say, I'm working as a software engineer. So for example, somebody says, so what do you do? So I'll say, I work as a trainer. I work as an English trainer. That's it. I will not say I'm working because I'm working or I'm doing the, this kind of sentence structure is used when we are talking about something that's happening right now. You know that, right? If it is happening right now, if it is a live action, then we use this. But this, we make this mistake very often. We don't do a mistake, we make a mistake. So we make this mistake very often. We say, I'm working as a trainer. That's not correct. I should say, I work as a trainer. I work as a trainer with English Cafe. That's all I need to say. Or um, any profession that you are in, right? Like, um, I work as an accountant or I am an accountant or uh, I work as, an, as a hardware engineer, or I'm a hardware engineer. So that's what you will say. I hope that's clear to you. Okay, and I have got a couple of comments as well. So you say, I'm a software engineer, that's correct, Akash, or I work as a teacher, I work as a, I'm a student, I work as a mechanical engineer. What do you do, guys? You can let me know, right? If I ask you, what do you do? What will you tell me? Do not say, I'm working as a, say, I work as a. So please, Make a sentence, let me know what you do. Okay, Bharti works as a data entry operator. All right, Bharti. Uh, Nabeen says, I'm a biotechnologist. Oh, that's amazing. What do you do as a biotechnologist? That sounds quite scholarly and scientific. I'm learning as a leader. Okay, that's great. I'm a teacher. Okay, I've got your responses, guys. So you've understood it, right? So from now onwards, don't say I'm working as a teacher. Say I work as a teacher or say I'm a teacher to talk about your profession. All right. Unless somebody asks you, like, where are you working at the moment? If they want to know about at the moment nowadays, maybe then you can say, yeah, I'm working with this school or I'm you don't even need to say that. You can say, I work with this company, I work with this school. That, there also you actually don't need to say ING. So I hope you understood that. Moving on to the next very common mistake is, I'm having three years of work experience. Can you tell me what's wrong here? 
I would like to comment from you guys. Many of my students say this. Many of our students here at English Cafe, they say, I'm having three years of work experience. So is this correct if I, if I say, I'm having 13 years of work experience? Can you tell me what's incorrect in this sentence, guys? And uh, this as a sentence you will use in your uh, maybe job interviews or when you meet somebody professionally and they ask you about your experience. So please don't make this mistake. Tell me what's wrong here. I'm waiting for comments. Am I getting any comments? Someone's angry. Oh my God, what makes you angry? Okay. Can you tell me what's wrong in this sentence, guys? I'm having three years of work experience. So I think I get uh, the comments take time. But let me tell you, we don't say I'm having three years of work experience. You say I have three years of work experience. Okay, don't say I'm having this experience, say I have this experience. So you will say I have three years of work experience or I have six months of work experience or I have 13 years of work experience or I don't have any work experience if you don't have. So you will not say I'm not having any work experience. Okay, you will say I don't have work, ex I don't have a work experience. That's what you will say. So now I would like you to tell me, yeah, can you tell me how much work experience you have? Can you tell me like I have three years of work experience? Also remember to use the word of there. I have three years of work experience. I have five years of work experience. You can tell me. And you can also tell me what you work as. So you can let me know. I have five years of work experience as a teacher. Can you make a sentence like that? I think it will help you learn this sentence as well. It's quite long. So I have five years of experience as a teacher. What experience do you have? Please tell me. I have three years of work experience. Prakash says that. That's correct. I have three years of work experience. Naveen says I don't have any work experience yet. That's correct. Naveen, correct sentence. All right. So I hope you've understood it. Can somebody write a sentence and tell me I have dash years of work experience as a blah blah like I have six years of work experience as an English language trainer as an English language trainer. That's what I will say. What experience do you have? Please let me know so that you can practice the sentence. Now let's move on and let's take a look at this sentence. This is also again a very common mistake when people say I'm not remembering. I'm not remembering what we had for breakfast that day. I am not remembering when we met. So what's wrong here is this use of not remembering. We will not say I am not remembering. Kunal says I have 15 years of work experience as a student. That's great Kunal. I have five years of experience as an SEO expert. Yes, that's a correct sentence, Mahendra. Okay, now thank you for those comments, guys. It's really, I'm, I'm really happy to see you practicing and actually using your mind and making these sentences because it's going to be really helpful for you. So now moving on, let's take a look at this sentence. I am not remembering. Like I'm not remembering when we met. You will not say that. Don't use ing with the verbs of mind, though, though it's, a, it's a huge topic, I'll not discuss it, but I want to tell you that there are two kinds of verbs. So first kind are physical verbs, which we do with our body, like eat, drink, walk, sleep. These are physical verbs we do with our external body parts. Then there are mental verbs. Mental verbs are the actions which we do only in our mind, like on, which happen only in our mind, heart, soul, brain, etc. So those mental actions, nobody can see us doing those actions. And in English, we don't use those actions in a continuous form. So if you, if you take a look at the word remember here, guys, now remember is not a physical action. You can't do it with your hands or uh, with your external body. 
you will you do this job inside your mind right because you do it inside your mind you will not use it with ing so we will not say i am not remembering we will say i can't remember so you can say i can't remember or you can say i'm not able to remember is that clear guys please let me know if that's clear to you what i just told you so i just said there are two types of verbs first ones are physical ones which we do with our external body like eat drink sleep walk talk see we do with our external body parts we use them in ing second kind of verbs are in like are the mental verbs mental verbs we do do these actions with our with our mind with our brain like those actions happen inside our brain so in english we don't use such verbs with ing we don't use them in continuous form i hope you have clarity if that if that's clear please let me know can you say that's clear i hope i have made that clear so you will not say i am not remembering you will say i can't remember or i'm not able to remember or can you remember you can use all these forms but not the continuous form similarly oh yeah similarly you will not say oh i am not knowing him it's it's not correct to say i'm not knowing him because no again is a mental verb so you cannot say i'm not knowing him you will say i don't know him that's it okay like i am not knowing where he works that's not correct you will say i don't know where he works or for example i am not liking this lockdown is not possible okay though it is going on right now but you can't say i am not liking this lockdown it is it is not it is not correct in english we can't use mental verbs like like is a mental verb so you can't use this with in a continuous form so you will say i don't like this lockdown i don't like this lockdown you will not say i'm not liking this lockdown okay guys risha says i'm thinking this sentence is wrong so do you mean i am thinking is wrong yeah like if you if you are expressing what you think at the moment you should just say i think this sentence is wrong you should not say i'm thinking this sentence is wrong like you will not say i'm thinking we should go out this weekend we say this like in india we say this a lot we say i'm thinking we should go out this weekend but let me tell you guys it's not correct the correct sentence is i think we should go out this weekend is that clear so i think we should go out this weekend is a correct sentence i can't remember the things what were taught in last class yes that's correct so i hope i have made that clear guys and mental verbs are words like remember think no love like uh, understand or uh, um want so wish all these words are mental verbs and you will not use them in a continuous form so i hope like even so i am wishing you you will say i wish you a very happy birthday like we don't say i'm wishing you a very happy birthday we say i wish you a very happy birthday right so that's what we say next one this is also a very common mistake guys people say i have been watching tv since 2 hours i have been watching is correct but what's not correct here is since 2 hours so let me clarify why since is not correct because here we are talking about a time duration and when we are talking about a time duration in a sentence we we use for we don't use since and let me also clarify when we will use for and when we will use since so we use for when we are talking about a duration right a period a time period but when we are talking about when we are referring to a starting point starting point means when we are referring to when the action started then we use since for example she has been sad since you left so now you left is a starting point and from that starting point someone is sad so we say she has been sad since you left there we can't say for but here we will not say since we will say i have been watching tv for 2 hours 
many of our students say i have been working with this company since 2 years or since 5 years that's why i wrote this it's incorrect you will say i have been working with this organization for 5 years or since 2015 did you get that like you will not say um i have been um i have been watching this tv show since a long time many people say that but that's incorrect the correct sentence is i have been watching this tv show for a long time so whenever there is a duration of time a period of time please use for do not use since use since when you are referring to the starting point of any action so i hope you have understood that and i hope you will not make this mistake now guys moving on to the next sentence again this is also very common mistake that my students make they say i have sent you an email yesterday now what's wrong with this sentence is you are using have and third form of a verb which is present perfect tense you're using present perfect tense to talk about a past action yesterday is past and that's a very common mistake that we make that uh, you should pay attention to it that when we are referring to something we did in past when we are talking about something that finished in past we can't use present perfect tense so that's why it's not a correct sentence so here because we are talking about yesterday we will say i sent you an email yesterday right or some of you say i have not joined the session yesterday i have not joined the session yesterday is not correct you will say i did not join the session yesterday or i could not join the session yesterday so if you are talking about a past time if you are referring to a past time you can not use present perfect tense you will use past tense right for example will not say yeah many many of our students say i have graduated in 2010 now let's take a look at this sentence 2010 is past but i have graduated is present perfect a present tense so we don't use present tenses to talk about past i hope you get that we don't do that in any language and we don't do that in in english as well so we'll say we will not say i have graduated in 2010 we will say i graduated in 2010 or many people say i have left that organization in 2015 now 2015 long back right past so we will not say i have left that organization we will say i left that organization in 2015 do you get that guys i hope you have clarity and you will not use have to talk about past so that's what i uh, wanted to clarify here i hope you have understood it now moving on i discussed this yesterday as well with you people when we were talking about modals but i brought it here as well because it's such a common mistake like people say i can't be able to come or i should have to go now so that's what we discussed yesterday as well but let's just revise so uh the point is can and be able to are same can means be able to so you don't need to use two words that mean the same thing right as in the previous examples today we don't need to use two words that mean the same like blunder and mistake like mean the same thing so can't and able to mean the same thing should and have to are similar words so you will use only one so you will either say i can't come or you can say i'm not able to come or you will say you sh- i should go or you will say i have to go right use just any of one expressions don't use don't uh, don't join it and don't say i should have to go now you should have to do this you should have to do this is incorrect right either you should say you should do this or you have to do this so i hope we have clarity there i hope you have understood it we discussed it yesterday as well and if you did not watch the session yesterday please watch that guys you can the session is here on facebook you can watch that and learn about modals and we also discussed uh, common mistakes that we make while using modals so you can take a look at that also so guys i hope that's clear and now moving on to the next mistake that we make which is yeah now here we are talking about present you can see we are talking about yet yet means till now 
and now we are saying we didn't pack our bags yet. Now that's a mistake in using tenses to talk about present, to talk about till now, yet means till now. To talk about till now, we will not use past tense. We will not say did not, we will use present perfect tense. So here we should say we have not packed our bags yet, right? We have not packed our bags yet or I have not finished my project yet or I have not submitted the report yet. You will not say I did not submit the report yet. You got that? I did not submit with yet is not correct because yet is till now. Yet, till now or just these are present verb, these are present words, right? So you will not use past tenses with it. So you will say I have not submitted the report yet or have you not sent the email yet? You will not say did you not send the email yet? That will be incorrect. So you will say have you not sent the email yet? No, I have not sent it yet. Okay, he has not responded to my message yet. You will not say he did not respond to my message yet. That is incorrect. The correct sentence is he has not responded to my message yet. Or he has not responded to my message till now. So I hope you have understood that and you will be able to use correct tense. So we in the previous one, in the previous one we said we don't use present perfect tense to talk about past. To talk about past, we will always, past means past time, something we did in the past. We'll always use past tenses and to talk about something till now. To talk about till now, we will, we don't, we, we never use past tenses. We can use present perfect tense. Okay. So I hope you have clarity there guys. And now I'm moving on to the next mistake that people generally make this is there are less students in the class today compared to yesterday let's take a look at this sentence now there are less students let's only take a look at this part of the sentence what's wrong here is the word of less with students because less is used with quantity less is not used with numbers when we are talking about quantity, we can use less. For example, it rained less this year as compared to last year. Where we are talking about quantity. But here, we are talking about numbers. So to talk about numbers, we use the word few. I hope you got that. To talk about numbers, we will use few. To talk about quantity, measurement, we will, talk, we will say less. So here, the appropriate expression is, there are fewer students in the class today compared to yesterday. So we will say fewer or if it's a general statement, we will say there are a few students. There are a few students who comment. There are a few students who don't participate. So you will use few, a few or fewer these expressions when you are talking about numbers. Okay, like a few companies are working on coronavirus vaccine. Okay, you will not say very less companies are working on coronavirus vaccine. You will say very few companies are working on because here we talk, we talking about numbers. How many companies? 10 companies. So because it refers to a number, we will use few and not less. So I would like to repeat, if you're talking about quantity, we will use less. Quantity means when we are talking about something in liters, meters, kilometers, etc then it's a quantity we will use less but when we are talking about numbers like one two hundred thousand then we will say uh, few or fewer etc so you will use few for numbers less for quantity i hope i'm clear on that so with that i'm moving on to the next one that we have yes guys and this is such a common mistake and it doesn't even feel like it's a mistake when people say Let's go outside this weekend, okay? Or let's eat outside, like let's eat outside today. It doesn't even feel like a mistake, but what's wrong here is the use of the word outside. Like outside can be outside this house, outside the door. But if we are going to a restaurant to eat, we'll say, let's go out this weekend. 
can you repeat with me and say let's go out this weekend you will not say let's go outside this weekend this is such a common mistake that uh, many of us make so let's go out this weekend that's all let's do uh, yeah let's go out this weekend or let's eat out this sunday do you like to eat out not do you like to eat outside right do you like to eat out i love eating out that's it i love eating out not outside okay i don't like eating out that's it just we go out or we eat out we don't go outside do out or eat outside i hope you got that right outside is can you come outside outside is like maybe no outside this door outside this building outside this park but when we are referring to going out we will use only the word out not outside so we say let's go out this weekend or you know when the lockdown is over i'm going to go out with my friends not outside i'm going to go out with my friends so that's what you will say guys please remember and please use it correct from now onwards next one yes this one's such a common mistake when people say she is married with my cousin she is married with my cousin what's incorrect here is the use of the word with people are married to someone not married with so we'll say she is married to my cousin she is married to my cousin not she is married with my cousin do you get that so we have to use the expression married to not married with okay like we will not say she is married with a doctor that's incorrect the correct is she is married to a doctor i hope you got that or uh, we will not say i'm married to a very nice i will not say i'm married with a very nice man i'll say i'm married to a very nice man so married to we are always married to other person not married with that person you got that guys so married to all right i am married to his sister so that's what you will say not married with did you get that guys so i hope you got that married to can you make a sentence using the expression married to if you are married tell me who you are married to okay or tell me about somebody who is married to for example priyanka chopra is married to nick jonas he is an american singer right she is married to him please tell me who you are married to or if you are not married to anyone you can tell me ho oh, ho akash says he is married to my girlfriend oh my god does that make you sad uh, you should let it go now akash so you got that right that's great and now guys before we move ahead so these were all the uh, these were all the sentences the all the mistakes that i wanted to discuss with you today these were about 20 plus i mean and we will revise all these once before we go we will take a look at all of them together so that uh, you know we can once recall them it will help us you know avoid these mistakes in our communication in future but before that uh, uh, those of you who are live and who joined us for the first time and those of you who are not students at english cafe yet if you would like to work on your english speaking skills we can help you as we are, we are offering a one month course right now where uh, you can practice english every day for 2 hours a day in a classroom environment where you will get to speak a lot and you will get feedback when you speak so that way you know you can work on all your skills your listening skills speaking skills reading skills so that will help you develop your communication skills in english and as you know it can be really really helpful for you if you work on your communication skills. skills so if that is something you want to work on please get in touch with us and uh, you can join a one month course that we are offering right now you can google us and find all the details about us or you can call us on our board line number we'll be happy to talk to you and to share all the details with you now moving on let's revise so before we wrap this session up before we put an end to this session let's revise what all we discussed so we'll quickly revise all these mistakes that we make so that we can avoid making these mistakes now onwards let's take a look guys first one 
first one she is married with my cousin not correct she is married to my cousin next one called as we don't need to say called as just say called like jaipur is called the pink city next many a times is not correct just say many a time like many a time i have tried to improve my english next five years before so we said we don't say before i hope you guys are paying attention because i'm going to go through it really quickly through all of these so five years before is not correct we say five years ago or five years back not five years before so five years ago or five years back next do mistake is incorrect we make mistakes similarly we don't make a blunder mistake we just make a blunder blunder mistake is not correct it's a blunder and we make a blunder next one i think so i think so we should end the lockdown now is not correct i think government should end the lockdown now is correct next i don't think i don't think so government should end the lockdown is not correct i don't think government should end the lockdown is correct so hope you got that next one today evening is not correct you will say this evening it's depend is not correct you will say it depends like will you join the session next week it depends on my schedule indian people not correct just say indians americans chinese etc most of indians you don't need to say that just say most indians what i can do is not correct say what can i do what can i do for you or yeah i'm working as a teacher is not correct i work as a teacher is correct i'm having 3 years of experience is not correct i have 3 years of work experience is correct next one i'm not remembering is not correct you should say i can't remember next i'm not knowing is incorrect the correct sentence is i don't know i'm thinking we should do this is not correct you will say i think we should do this next one you will not say since 2 hours you will say for 2 hours next you will not use have to talk about past you will use second form of verb to talk about past next you will not use past tense to talk about till now you should use present perfect which is have plus third form of a verb with till now so that's what you're going to use next one can't be able to is not correct you should either say can't or you can say won't be able to or you know is not able to am not able to or just can't next should have to is not correct you will either say should or you will say have to like i should go now or i have to go now just use either of the expressions next one will not say less students will say few students or fewer students depending on what we are saying so we'll use few with numbers next one let's eat outside is not correct we'll say let's eat out that's it let's eat out let's go out that's what we'll say next one married with someone is not correct you should say married to someone married to that person so that was a quick recap guys quick revision of what we discussed i hope this revision was helpful for you to go through all the all these mistakes at once and that's all i have for you for today's session and i wish all of you a very happy eid to you and to your loved ones please enjoy the occasion of eid and i will see you now next weekend with more topics so next weekend we'll be back again at 4 p.m in case you don't get the updates that means you have not liked us on facebook please like us on facebook so that you can get on updates on the future uh, live sessions that we are going to conduct and you can join but i would like to tell you that we conduct live sessions every saturday and sunday at 4 p.m so guys i'll see you for the session next weekend until then please take care of yourself and enjoy eid